Hey guys, Esther here. And today, we're gonna talk about recognize and manage your level of crazy when dealing with true happiness. So, what am I talking about? Well, recently, I made a post about depression and how I've experienced more of it in the past couple of years. Now, true disclaimer, is that I am premenopausal and I've become much more hormonal during this time. And I can tell that there are times throughout the month where I'm going in and out of these states of real like depression and, and just like, just getting really crazy. And, um, and so in my post, I talked about some of the remedies for this depression and um, it was great to see that so many people can relate and so many people were really appreciative of what um, of what of the um, the uh, the uh, tips that I gave and so that's great now also during that particular episode of this depression uh, moment that I had I had a revelation about something and what I realized was that I was also dealing with a lot of pressure about myself and being a person who's always focused on achieving, achieving, achieving. I'm a very high functional person. I'm always on to the next thing. I'm always working on creating projects and doing something and you know, feeling purposeful and for those people that know me. I'm always talking about what's the purpose, what's your purpose, what's my purpose, you know. And what I realized was that that's all great. And having a purpose and goals and dreams is one of the most important things we can have in this life. I mean, it is one of the fundamental building blocks of being a human being. You need a purpose. We need a purpose. We can't just wander this earth aimlessly. However, and I say that uh, very um, delicately <laughs> and with balance, is that we also have to learn how to just be still. We have to learn to just be still. And what that means is we have to learn to just be at peace just be at peace be in contempt con content content where we are being happy with what we've already done where we've already arrived because if it's always go 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 achieve 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 do 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 be 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 have 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 when is it enough guys when is it enough and that can cause depression. That can cause depression, that can cause level of crazy, and not the good crazy, the bad crazy, the psychotic crazy, the kind of crazy that, you know, can put us somewhere we don't wanna be. <laughs> so with that, I realized that I really needed to chill out, chill out. And I needed to just calm down and learn to just be, to just be in the moment and learn to just be happy with where I'm at and doing what I'm doing, which could be spending time with Tom, with family, with friends, with just reading a good book, going to a park and being in nature you know, and just relaxing and just, you know, making that time. Now, don't get me wrong. I know how to balance. I've always, I've always gotten that um, nudge. I call it the soul nudge when it was time to stop working, when it's time to go play, when it's time to go explore. And we do that often and we have a great time. And, uh, and we love to just go play and, and you know travel and just do fun stuff and and meditate we go to a lot of meditative centers and so we do a lot of that stuff 
but this is like more on a like a deep 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 level where when you start to get that feeling of like disease that feeling of I'm not happy I'm not satisfied I'm not you know what's missing what's missing what's missing and two things could be happening you could need to actually really explore that and really understand maybe I do need to keep going and I do need to achieve something and I need to create something and because you know as humans like I said we do need a purpose and we do need to create and we need to continue on our spiritual path because we are constantly being guided to the next thing that we're supposed to achieve you know but then we also have to just check in and make sure that that's not a feeling of just being dissatisfied and being just chasing that happiness that doesn't exist out here you know it's not out here it's in here so next time you have that feeling you know really check in really check in and and you know let's talk about prayer right pray about it ask your divine self ask God you know ask your angels what's going on here what am I feeling what is this about and you know the other thing I really want to mention is very important guys is that you know having a sense of responsibility in life whether you like that responsibility or you don't responsibility is one of the most important elements of feeling fulfilled and sometimes we don't like the things that we're doing my father once said your appetite will appear when you're eating and I found that to be a very profound statement and what he was saying was many of us know the term love what you do but you can also learn to do what you love and, and vice versa you can also learn to love what you do and so it's very important to to have that sense of responsibility and to know that it's not just always doing what we love and you know and always looking for that passion project it's not always about that sometimes it's about just being responsible for something you know and really really being there for someone even when you don't want to be and so with that guys I know there was a lot going on in this video and maybe there was a lot of different directions that we went so I invite you to watch this again and really break down really try to break down what I'm saying here and really pray about it really talk to maybe a friend about it share this video if you know someone who would you know appreciate it or may need it and um, and I think you know together at some point you know come with me on this journey where we just when we explore when we truly explore what makes us truly happy and so I invite you to make a comment below on this process as you go through this with me and and with all of us here and just share authentically what has been your process to find true happiness what have you seen brings you true happiness besides the running and the going and the and the doing and unless like I said that is something that you're being called to do and you're doing it but you're doing it with balance and with intention and uh, and just with the the sense of true true happiness and peace okay guys I think that's it for now so as always when you know and understand yourself the world will know and understand you too and what's the best that can happen. Okay guys, take care.